take you to an honestly that one will have you on the edge of your seat because every time I'm just like anyway <laughs> let me take you to the next story which is uh congratulations are in order for asha and jen goi che I, I think she's italian that sounds like goi che chea go cho chea okay wow. <laughs> i'm a cho chea <laughs> okay <laughs> anyway right. so yes they um welcomed a son um mm -hmm. this past month which adds to their you know they are what's it called they are raymond family because they had a daughter back in september 2020 wow all their kids are born in september like uh, me and my brother um yes because <laughs> they also uh, welcomed their daughter sovereign bow in september 2020 and of course uh the couple is very excited and they went to put uh, uh or asha went to put a black and white picture a closer picture of the baby boy obviously welcome welcoming him to the world and he goes by the name sire castello raymond so he was just saying welcome to the world um they were just saying he weighs uh he's he weighs seven lbs 13 o's i don't know why you just don't use the metric system americans so yeah it was just a welcome to <laughs> sire <laughs> congratulations yes. yeah. three kids now four four now yeah he's a father of four now yeah because oh. from his he has a 13 year old and he has a 14 year old from previous marriage and he's 43 wow. and he's 43 actually father of five he lost one he lost oh. a son yeah. Asha lost a son yeah. yeah i do remember that yeah, story yeah I father don't. of five yeah. yes I well don't. congratulations, congratulations. Yes. we love to see it yes. Mm -hmm. yes. we love babies over here you know yeah. i mean me particularly i'm going through some very very heavy strong baby fever intense but oh baby girl it's not you alone Hello? Ah. Oh my you God. want another one? Oh ah. yes ah. So but I want, but I'm praying, God, please, please. I just need a daughter. Oh. Uh, I have too many boys. Oh. Yeah. You know what? This is a story for another day. This yes, is very is. juicy. <laughs> let's see if she, let's see if she'll be here tomorrow so that she can tell us. Anyway, guys, let's move on to our next segment, which is health sports. All right. So today we are talking about asking for help and particularly why do women fail to ask for help when overwhelmed i feel like that's everyone on this table so i will start with the one on my left <laughs> <laughs> well to be honest this is something that i discuss openly a lot mm -hmm. um on my motivational speaking show called yana which means you're not alone mm. and what happens is that women we've been tabooed mm -hmm. with so many things culturally mm -hmm. that we are afraid to speak up especially be it, black women yes be it uh, me, I'm talking about Kenyans. Okay. Uh, I'm not <laughs> talking about out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Me, I'm talking African about the culture that I know. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, black. As, black. Yes. but as our cultural background, I mean, even just talking about periods mm. is an issue, yeah. you know? So we tend to be afraid even just to go to the doctor to speak mm. that we need to go and see a gynecologist yeah, becomes an true, issue you hide true. it away you feel like oh my god everyone if i speak i need to go see a gynecologist just for a checkup yeah. everyone's going to think oh my god does she have an std yeah. an STI? What's, going on? What, what's going on does she have yeah. something so mm. i feel like women in general just because of our cultural um backgrounds on how the culture in the past has mm -hmm. been mm -hmm. has really just segregated women to being quiet mm -hmm. and then also with the hate between women mm -hmm. Uh, you feel like mm -hmm. I'll go and share my story with Nana or with Joyce mm -hmm. and one of them is going to snitch yeah. Go and tell Just the whole world the society people, will yeah. come for me. Mm -hmm. They'll I'll be made fun of yeah. my husband will made fun will be made fun of yeah. Rumors will be me, created yeah. whether they're true or not. No one will care mm -hmm. And so just to avoid the whole situation I'll just keep, keep quiet mm -hmm. which is really bad because you could be suffering from something yeah. Mentally physically or emotionally that can cause you to actually die yeah. guys You need to realize yeah. that your mindset can actually kill you that's yeah. true my problem oh, is uh, mostly women i don't know the conditioning is definitely yeah. there and we think we are strong because we are not crying we yeah. think we are strong because we have we, we are cooking and cleaning and working and doing all these things that a woman is supposedly supposed to be doing mm -hmm. but then that that we make it look like that's what defines us you know mm -hmm. so I was in this branch and they were take, talking about moms, you know, like the way you have a young child and you're thinking you don't want to take help, you don't want to mm. accept yeah. help and you don't want to ask for help because mm. you're going to look weak, mm. because you want to be this super mom. Yeah. That is something Which that, you know, exist. does not even exist. Yeah. So take help, accept help mm -hmm. and ask for help. Yeah. 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 I mean, me personally, I've just always been a proud person. I'm not really like a proud person. I'm just also for like, 
I let can do it. Let me just do it by myself. There's no point of bringing other people into it. I'm inconveniencing them. I don't know when that started. I probably need therapy for that. <laughs> but that's always been me. I don't want to bring people into like my problem. Even when like I'm, I'm sick, I downplay it. You yeah. know, I don't want people to worry. Yeah. Like, let me just fix it for myself again. I think I need therapy. But once in a while, imagine it's okay to ask for help. People are actually willing to do it. It's you in your head telling yourself, no, they'll probably do it half-heartedly. They don't want to help me. They just want to do it because they're feeling sorry for me because I hate Yeah, that's being, sorry. Yeah. And I think Pity, it's just, oh my God. It's the taboo mentality. Yeah. And it's not just women, it's also men. Yeah, There's just true. a taboo mentality true. of we cannot be there to help each other. And mm -hmm. guess what, guys? That is why we're failing in our society. That's true. Financially, economically, mm -hmm. mentally, emotionally, as a yeah, country, we people, yeah. we are suffering because we're not seeking to help each other. Mm -hmm. We are seeking to destroy one another. Exactly. We look for each other's weaknesses. Instead of seeing that this person actually needs help, mm -hmm. we're actually taking it as a vantage point yeah. exactly. and using it against somebody and yeah. then destroying them. Guys, we can only become better yeah. when we start helping mm -hmm. and caring for each other because yeah. guess what? Mm -hmm. We must care for each other because when you don't have each other, yeah. what's going to happen? Yeah, Guess exactly. what? We're Kenyans. The economy, the country is ours. The exactly. problem is the narrative is yes. pu getting pushed down our throats. Yeah. Because mm. again, easy my quotes in Akujanga. If you want something done, do, do it, it yourself. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> do it yourself. Sometimes you don't even have the energy. Yeah. But, but you have to pretend over there. But then when you go to sleep, you're not okay. And that's how depression mm. creeps in. Because you didn't accept help. It's and just someone accumulating. Is over there just, it's, it, accumulating. it's accumulating. Yeah. Yeah. Check it by the way. What's the Superman? When is Shuja Kweli? When is Shuja Kweli? Even Shuja has asked for yeah. help. You know what I mean? They help. didn't do it alone. Yeah. Yeah. I but mean, th there is one fact I want to just leave yeah. people on. There mm. is one statement that you must remember. Mm. We were born alone, we will die alone. <laughs> but we were put on this earth to, to walk together. Exactly. Some will come and stay long, some will come and stay short. Mm. But we must be grateful for yeah. everybody around us. Mm. Whether mm. they've given us one hell of a journey or in a good way or in a bad way, it's there's good. always lessons to be learned. Yeah, so exactly. that is why we all need each other. So exactly. remember that. Exactly. So what is your lesson today, Shuja? Because that's what you are. We're going to take a very short commercial break. When we come back, we have a guest in studio. Welcome back, everybody. If you just joined us, you are not late at all because our guest is in studio.